Welcome. It's Jenkins Documentation Office Hours. It's the 1st of July, 2022. Topics for today, action items, news, change log, longstanding pull requests, and I think these last two are actually largely done. So those are the topics that are on my list. What other topics would do we need? Diraj, do you have any? Um, yes, I wanted to have a brief discussion on that ticket that I talked about in yesterday, uh, last meeting, that UI related uh, job filter plugins ticket. Okay, yes. great. All right, That's any, all. any other topics you want to put on the list? No, I think this looks great. Okay, Meg, any topics for you? None for me. Okay, all right. So quick review of action items then. Uh, no progress on archiving the docs mailing list and no progress on upcoming blog posts. And given that my weekend is busy with grandchildren, I probably won't make any progress until next week at least. Say la vie. <laughs> News, 2.357 released this week and required... Java 11 or Java 17. Whoa. No Java 8 support. So no longer supports Java 8. Oops, wrong thing. There we go. Java 8. Okay. So, and the next LTS baseline will drop Java 8 support as well. And that's likely in September. Any questions there? Oh. Okay, next topic then, UI improvement ticket for discussion. So Diraj, what was the question? Yes, so I tried to work on it and very briefly because uh, to be honest, there's uh, there's a lot in my plate for now, mm -hmm. so I tried to look for what what is causing that error and how I can fix the checkbox misalignment, and I was not able to find it. And then I thought that since I have commented that I'll be able I'll be solving it soon, and I'm not doing it, so I thought, what should I do? Should I remove myself from assigning or how does yeah, so what I'd do is say stop the progress and unassign yourself so it's clear that you're not working on it. Hmm. You okay if I do that? Yes, please. Okay, so we're just going to list it as unassigned. because There's no shame in us saying, hey, I was working at it. I'm not. It's no longer in progress. And there it is. It states accurately reflect reflected. That way you can okay. just keep your focus on the Google Summer of Code project instead. So I, I like that. I fully support that. Yep. So this looks good. And I think that was it. <laughs> All right, great. Well, so then then I had one one possible that might be inter of interest to you, Diraj, if you're if you still have an interest in doing these kind of exercises. The 2.346.2 change log and upgrade guide needs to be created. I thought we could spend five minutes tonight or 10 minutes tonight and work on it. Sure. Sounds great. So Meg, if you're, are you willing to have us spend Absolutely. some time on this? Absolutely. Okay. So let's first look at the, uh, at the things that are in that release. So for that, we go to Jenkins core and we look at the backporting pull request that was used to create the changes on the stable branch. Backporting for 2.346.2, and here they are. So let's make them big enough to read. And now I'm gonna bring up my friendly local terminal emulator and make it big enough to read. Kevin and I were going to start on this one during uh, European Docs office hours today, and uh, we ran out of time. We had a bunch of good questions from others, and
Okay, so here we go. And what I'm going to do is, uh, let's see, change log 2.346.2. Uh, change logs and it's LTS. Okay, so let's do this one. Two, the last one was 2.332.2, so let's steal that. Okay, and it will be 2.346.2. And then we need. Do you want to change that date? Oh, yes, yes. And the date will be what? Date will probably be as stated on the Jenkins calendar. Google Calendar. And that is two weeks from now. So that will be July the 13th. Good catch, Meg. Thank you. Don't want to be completely useless here. Well, much appreciated. All right. So now... Now we need to go find the items that are being backported. So Jenkins-68752. So the technique I've used in the past, Iraj, I don't know if you remember, it was a while ago that we last did this, is I'll go into the weekly and I'll search backwards for that thing. Yes. And copy that into LTS. And now the spacing is off because the two files use different different indentation counts, but we'll fix that later. Okay, so there's okay. one. Now doing the same thing again, 68639. Okay, here it is. That is a most interesting sound, Meg. <laughs> I assume there's a fan somewhere. Oh, I'm this. Yeah, this is my computer that I think is dying. I need to. Ah, uh, okay. All right. Wow. So uh, that's a cool sound. <laughs> oh, All right. Exactly. So that's two. Let's take the next one. Mm -hmm. 68785. This was the one that I found after some diligent questions from Basel. Trying to figure out what the real problem was. Okay. Okay, next, this one, 68730. Here we go. Okay. Next, sixty-eight, seven, ninety-nine. Think I got too much there. I did. Okay. 68840 68848 Do you remember the good old days of doing this steerage? Oops. Okay, now that's interesting. Oh, because this one is not yet included in a release. Okay, and this one is an interesting one for that reason. So it needs a little more work because this was merged even before it became available in a, in a release. So let's see if this is, nope, that's not it. This is it, okay. All right, so we have to create this one from whole cloth. 
So it is a bug report, a bug fix. It is a regression. The pull request number was 6714. The issue number is 68848. Okay, the author is D.W. Nussbaum. And the PR title is that. And of course the line wrapping will be wrong. And then the change log entry is this. Okay. Make previous boot attempt timestamps available to boot failure groovy startup hooks. Okay, there we go. So I think that's it. Now, if we look at the differences, oops, oops, mm -hmm. wrong. We have to make one more change, which is, I have to fix the indentation. Yes. Okay, now and it looks like a nice big block. So I think that much is done. Now let's look at the what upgrade guide. Yes. And here it's 346 dot something. Two dash three forty six dash two dot a doc and slash a. Okay, now we have to go find one that really has that text in it, like this one. All right. Okay, so there are two files here. So I think that's ready. Any objections, Diraj? No, no, nothing. Okay, so I think add 2.346.2 change log and upgrade guide ghpr create minus minus fill there okay pull request is ready nice so now, Diraj, if you've never used the GH command, you need to do that. That command <laughs> is breathtakingly good. Uh -huh. Okay, so, so here we go. Need to, so you don't need to type git add git commit, right? Just GHP create. Well, I did. So I did the git add and the git commit. So I created, I definitely created a commit. I did that from inside Emacs, but I created a oh. commit. But what GHPR create does is lets me go through the whole process of creating the pull request without having to leave my command line. Oh, so okay. it, it does because all the things that I would have done here in the web UI, but it does them from uh, the command line. Awesome. Yeah, it really nice. is quite, it's quite a treat. Okay, get status. Mm -hmm. Now I should probably Be sure that let's see this was I want to be sure that 
this actually renders correctly. So let's check that just briefly. Okay, make run. Okay, looking possible. And download, if I remember right, will break, but change log won't. There we go, 2.3. Oh no, I need change log dash stable, don't I? There it is, 2.346.2. Ignore yes. duplicate log recorders, fix raster image status icon, show log messages. Um, fix radio, okay, make previous boot attempt timestamps available. Okay, good. All right, does that look okay to the two of you? Mm, I think, yes. Yeah, it looks good. Okay, I'm going to capture a picture of it for mm -hmm. the benefit of code reviewers. So give me a picture. All right, save that. And now if we go back here, they will thank me maybe because I uploaded, let's see this one. Here we go, drag this into there. All right. Sorry, I was muted. I was mouthing and tried to figure out why you were just ignoring me. Oh, sorry, Meg, what's up? Um, that second bullet is really a mouthful. Okay. I'm not sure if we could do anything better. I just... Let's, let's try it, let's do it. Okay, so let's work it. Build status items no longer. Yeah, let's fix it. Hang on just a minute, so. It has the feel of some pros that kind of grew. <laughs> I'm sure it did. Let's talk about what it's doing and then figure out how to how to say it better. Okay, so so the message is fix raster image build status icons no longer display, displaying when Jenkins when running Jenkins with a non-empty context path due to a malformed URL. That is interesting. Okay, so let's try to read the actual issue report. I think what it is, is that uh, the, there was a bug in one of the, yeah, so here you go, this image rendering that you see here, the UI was incorrect. Ah. Uh. So, okay. so is it better for us, we should phrase this for in things the user will understand. So maybe mm -hmm. what it should be is um, fix broken images. Or something, um, oh, there we go. Fix broken images due to duplicated context path. Let's see. Or duplicate text in the image name. It might even it might be we can just where is the where's the actual text? Is the actual that, text is right that here. Maybe, the, maybe fixed raster images were the problem. So what if it um I mean we could say show images or show icons even when, I'm gonna try something, even when um, duplicate text is in the, no, no, that's not really, it, show icons, 
in cases that previously no didn't um, work <laughs> no that's bad sorry go ahead go ahead meg um let's see image bills okay. well the problem is okay that was the overrun but um when running jenkins with a non-empty context path due to a malformed URL. So let's see, so wait a sec. So what he's saying is, that's where I've, I've got to understand the phrasing here. Okay, yeah. so this is showing that the raster image are of, of, so display job icons on the dashboard. What if we use this, cancel. What if we use this text display job icons on the dashboard um correctly <laughs> right exactly or display job icons correctly on the dashboard let's try that display job icons correctly on the jenkins dashboard comma even when they have a malformed URL, that's not quite um, malformed when a non empty context path um, alters the URL. What do you think yeah. of that? That's not that at least I don't have to read it six times to figure out which words go with what. Right. So regression in now, I don't know when it's a regression. It's declared a regression, but I don't see when it was a regression in uh, 2.346. So would we assume it's a regression in 2. Dot... I'm going to assume it's a regression in 2. Dot... OK, it was first detected in 2.346. So let's cons call it a regression in 2.346.1. Sounds good. Um, by the way, it it reads that show icons, no, uh, display job icons correctly. But according to the ticket, there's only one icon that is getting um, rendered wrong, right? The, you're correct that there was in this example only one. It would depend on how many jobs there were that used that that particular configuration. Hmm. Oh, okay. So you're correct that the one above it is okay and the one below it is not. And mm -hmm. I don't recall why the one below it isn't, but you notice that the one below it does not have an arrow, which probably indicates it's some form of specialized job type. Hmm. It could be a folder, it could be. So, did that address your question, Diraj? Yes, yes. Okay. That makes sense. Okay, so Meg, you okay with that? I am. All right. Yeah, I think that's good. Better user-centered phrasing, user phrasing of the icon job icon rendering bug display bug i like re-entering oh okay good no no i'm being sarcastic no go ahead oh oh good okay so i, I was thought... typing the re-entering i was typing talking about your typo and here i was proud that i had realized the word rendering was an overstatement when display would have done it so good uh -huh. I'm, I'm glad you didn't mind that i switched to display all right no, no, not at all okay so get push All right. So, oh, so now I need to do, now I need to retake the screenshot. Oh, sorry about yes. that. That's okay. This is a great reason to do it. Oops, not even better reason to do it because well, I had this okay. one running. Hmm. So taking a picture from where, where was I? Was I here? No, was I here? 
No, here. Hmm. Somewhere on this page, I know that I had this. Okay, and it was change log dash stable, right? Yes. Okay. All right, there's the new text. And now let's take the picture. Okay, and back to GitHub. Preview. Update. Okay. Good enough so far? It looks good. All right. Nice. Thank you. Thanks very much for helping me get that done. Much appreciated. All right. So we can now go to the, this is the fun part. We can go to the, the LTS change list. Um, the, L, the Jenkins release checklist. And we see here the Jenkins LTS 2.346.2 checklist. And there will be a checklist item here, prepare the LTS change log and the LTS upgrade guide. And we are going to edit this and put a note in here linking to this pull request. Okay, so, all right. Prepare LTS change log. All right. Prepare LTS upgrade guide. Now let's preview it and see how it looks. There they are, right there. Yes, we should be so proud of ourselves. Very good. Update. Okay. So done. Cool. And by the way, I love this. I love this checklist. This checklist is my best friend when I was doing the. Yep. Yeah. Mm. Okay. Yes. Oh, whoops. Now we need to bring that back. All right. Anything else on that topic before we go to the next? Uh, I think the ticket that we unassigned, what would happen about it? And the guy who was commenting. So is, I'm just trying to see. Okay. What, what will nice? happen? What will happen? Mm -hmm. Oh, you, you, we just got a comment. Is that what you're saying? Yes. Oh, I don't see it here. Uh, uh, bef before your comment. Oh, okay. So here, yes. Steen Hairs? Yes. He yes. Attempts to explain what went wrong, or what might be wrong, and what, how it can be fixed. <laughs> yes, but unfortunately, the place where he's doing the fix is in HTML rendered it is an HTML that's directly yes. rendered. And while that's that's good, there is some problem in the in the jelly file that is causing mm -hmm. this to render incorrectly. And the challenge is not what what does the HTML need to look like? It's what do we have to do to the jelly file to fix this? Or what do we have to do to the jelly interpreter to fix this? Mm -hmm. And, exactly. and the, that's a much more complicated thing than modifying the divs and the, the layout. Hmm. Because I did check the jelly files and uh, 
try to see why is it rendering the checkbox before the heading mm-hmm. but i was not able to find anything right exactly and and i think that's what you just said is the secret here it is that there's something the rendering the rendering as you you parse it as a human being in the jelly file looked good to you hmm. but when jelly converts that into a web page it makes a mistake and then the hmm. question is why does jelly make that mistake and what's going wrong hmm. right now it could be all job states are not enclosed in the label tag, but just next to it. Uh, yeah, I don't know. So it, it, it could be that the person's statement is exactly correct, but I don't know how to implement that in Jelly. Hmm, exactly. And Even I was very happy when I saw the comment that, oh, okay, this is how it should be in HTML file. Then I started searching for one another, then realized that it uses Jelly. So. It needs to right. be jelly centric solution. I think I think so. I and I I think you got yeah. it exactly right that it does need to be it needs to the solution would need to solve the problem with jelly, not with uh not with just straight HTML. Mm. Yep. Yeah. So you're okay with that, Diraj? I think it's perfectly fine to set it aside and say, hey, I can't do more on it. Hmm. Because I will not be able to do it. For right, now. and I, and I think that's very reasonable. Your your first priority needs to be Google Summer of Code. Absolutely. Yes, and job. <laughs> yeah. Yes, and your employer. Actually, your first priority needs to be your employer. I agree, even more than Google <laughs> Summer of Code. Be sure you satisfy your employer. Yes, that is what I'm trying the most. Very good. It's fun. Yeah. All right. So we've talked through UI improvement tickets. We've hmm. talked through the change log and upgrade guide, long standing pull requests. So we've still, well, let's take a quick look to see if there's anything. Is it there? I just looked and there aren't a lot of real old ones. Well, there are, so we're up, okay, we're up to 29 again, which, oh, because I just added one. So we're still above my magic threshold of 25 and there's one, there are some from 2019 that need work and 2020, but it's just going to have to, for me right now, it's got to wait. I've got other things I have to do more urgently. Yeah. All right. So any other topics that we need to discuss today? Nothing from my All right. I'd propose let's call it a, a done for tonight because we successfully completed that change log. And for me, that's a big win. Yep, that sounds great. And sorry, Diraj, I'm speaking in the wrong time frame. We should call it done for today. It's been a good morning. <laughs> <laughs> yes. I'm still sleepy. Yeah, that's see, that's what you get for working late nights. You need to you need to go to bed at a reasonable time, but that's not not exactly. my problem, right? So you you <laughs> or stay in bed for a reasonable amount of time. Well, question whether you're a morning person or a night person. Yes, and Meg and I have fundamental disagreements on what the best choice for for lifestyle is. She's very much a night person. <laughs> I'm very much a morning person. So yeah. Oh, I was a morning person, but now I'm a night person. I'm. So I'm joining yeah. team. See, professional employment in India tends to do that to you. I wish I could claim it was better than that, but it's not. We tend to make people stay late. And it's unfair. That's true. All right. Let's call this done. Thanks, everybody, for your time. Have a great evening. Okay. And a good holiday, Mark. Yes, to, yes, to you too, Meg. Happy Independence Day. Yes. <laughs>